Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how Servlet works. Uh, here you can see the client. Uh, the client sends a request to the uh, server. Then the server checks uh, if the Servlet is requested for the first time. If the Servlet is requested for the first time, then the web container which is uh, part of uh, web server. Okay. So the web container does the following task. So what and all task it will do is first it will uh, load the Servlet class then it will instantiate the servlet class then it will call the init method uh, by passing the servlet config object okay so after does uh, uh, this three uh, initialization uh, step uh, then what web container will do is it will call the service method of uh, the particular uh, servlet instance by passing request and uh, response objects okay uh, so suppose say uh, client send the request to the server uh, the servlet is uh, requested for the second time or third time okay not first time then what web container will do is it will directly call the service method by passing the request and uh, response objects uh, because already uh, for, for the first time uh, uh, request comes uh, that servlet is uh, initialized so uh, the initialization is not needed for the second time and third time so it will directly call the service method of uh, the particular uh, servlet instance okay and uh, there is one method called destroy in the uh, servlet uh, uh, instance so that method will be called when uh, uh, that particular servlet uh, instance is removed from the uh, server okay so when it will happen is when we uh, stop the server or undeploying that uh, uh, project that time uh, this destroy method will be called okay uh, now we will see how web container handles the servlet uh, request okay uh, first what web container will do is it will maps the request with the particular servlet in the web dot uh, xml okay uh, so once it does the mapping then it will uh, create the request and response object for the particular request then it will call the public uh, service method on the thread uh, then the public service method internally calls the protected service method okay and uh, protected service method calls the do access method depending on the type of the request meaning if uh, method type is get then it will call uh, uh, do get method if uh, method type is uh, delete it will call the do delete method if method type is uh, post then it will call the do post method okay so there are seven uh, uh, do methods are there so it will call one of the method based on the uh, method uh, type okay so then the request goes to the do access method that do access method generates the response and uh, the response will be passed to the client okay then uh, after uh, sending the response the web container will uh, delete the request and response objects okay then the thread is contained in the thread pool or deleted depends on the uh, server implementation okay so these are the steps the servlet uh, container or web container will uh, do in order to handles the servlet uh, request okay so like i mentioned uh, there are uh, two service methods are there one is uh, public service method another one is uh, protected service method so what public uh, service method will do is uh, it will uh, uh, receive uh, uh, servlet request object and uh, servlet response object from the web container and what it will do is it will uh, convert uh, servlet request object and servlet response object to HTTP servlet request object and HTTP servlet response object. Okay, then it will call uh, protected service method by passing the HTTP servlet request object and uh, HTTP servlet uh, response object. Okay, so this is the internal code of uh, public uh, service method. Okay, uh, next we will see how protected uh, service method uh, look like. Okay, so uh, HTTP servlet request object and HTTP servlet response object uh, will be passed from the public uh, service method to the protected service method. So uh, the protected service method what it will do is it will check the request uh, type uh, meaning it will check uh, 
the type of the uh, request okay whether it is a get request or post request or head request or delete request okay so it will use uh, request dot uh, get method then it will identify the method type so if the method is uh, get then it will call uh, uh, do get method suppose if the method is uh, post then it will call the do post method suppose uh, if the method is uh, delete it, then it will call the do delete method so based on the method type it will call the corresponding uh, uh, do uh, access method okay so this is the internal code of uh, protected service method and uh, this is about uh, how servlet works and thanks for watching bye